For the second weekend in a row, the Colorado weather has tricked me. It is relatively spring weather and warm during the week, and then when I wake up, it's snow on the weekend. As someone who likes to spend time outside with a camera, this is only a little upsetting. You see, I could go outside with my camera gear, but if the wintry mix gets heavier or the temperature drops, my gear would be in jeopardy. I could risk it. They are tools after all. Maybe I can just film with the APS-C cameras, but those are the ones that aren't weather sealed. Okay, then maybe I could be extra careful with the A7 III. Yeah, that's it. But should I take photos or do a video? Should I wear my camera strap? Maybe I should make a plan before I go out there. But which program to use? Do I just write it in a notebook? How about the notes app on my phone? I know, I'll use the iPad to make a storyboard. Maybe I should go for a quick ride. That usually helps me think. Am I overthinking this? Yes. Maybe I should just do what I always do and just film stuff and figure it out in the edit. This video is only going on YouTube, but you should always try your best no matter what you're doing. It's okay to make the plan, but remember to follow through. And don't forget to edit and hit publish. I hope you enjoyed that little storytelling vignette. Let's get into a couple of more practical uh, things to go over. Why should you plan your videos? The easy solution is that whenever it's time to go shoot or film, you know exactly what you're doing. Whether or not you choose to write a word for word script or a loose outline, have a shot list, have a storyboard, whatever. The pro is that when you go out, you have it. Don't force yourself to stick to that if things need to change. Filming and using camera gear and creating should be fun and spontaneous and it should open up opportunities for you to explore different avenues if and when they come up. So yes, have a plan, but don't be so rigid and make yourself stick to that plan if something fun and exciting and new pops up and you wanna go explore that new idea. The obvious con to not planning your videos is that you're just kind of taking a shot in the dark. When it comes to doing things like vlogs, a lot of people don't want to create plans because they don't want it to seem forced or fake. But I actually think that coming up with some type of storyline that you want to talk about throughout the day can actually help you create a vlog. Having that storyline can actually help you be just a tiny bit more successful and making sure that you actually film the most important things in your day and finish the story. One final pro to planning your videos is making sure that you actually set yourself a deadline. Setting a date that you want the video to go live and having some type of accountability can help you actually finish it. Too many videos, mine included, are either sitting on a hard drive as raw footage or edited videos that I just didn't feel compelled to publish and we don't want that anymore. This year, we're hitting publish. When it comes to how you plan out your videos, don't overthink it. I oftentimes use a small notebook or even just the notes app on my phone. Whatever is most convenient, whatever is actually going to help me take the idea from my brain and put it onto paper so that I can create it. Another hack that I like to use is ChatGPT. Now, I would not suggest having ChatGPT write your script. It's not the best writer, but if you get good at prompt engineering, you can have it create an outline for you that you can then either go off the outline or build your own script from that outline. So I'd love to know which camp do you fall in? Are you a planner or are you someone who just goes with the flow? Either way, I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. And no matter which camp you fall into, the main point is to film the video, get the idea out, hit publish, and get those at-bats so that you can get better. Thank you guys for watching this video. My name is Larry G. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you feel so inclined, I would appreciate a subscribe as well. That's all I have for this week. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.